This video will provide an introduction to Model Builder within Arc Pro. Model Builder is an efficient and easy way to combine multiple analysis steps, and it requires no coding knowledge. In this example, I will create a simple model with only two steps. The goal will be to find all of the towns that occur within two kilometers of a major river. The towns here are represented as point vector features, and the major rivers are represented as line vector features. To conduct this analysis, we will start by buffering the line features. We will then use this buffer to clip out all the, point, the town points that are within two kilometers of a river. To create a new model, navigate to the Analysis tab and select the Model Builder icon. This will open a new blank model. First we, will, first, we will add our input features to the model by dragging them from the Contents pane. Next, we will add the required geoprocessing operations. To create this model, we will need the Buffer and Clip tools. We will now set up the Buffer tool. Clicking on the tool opens the tool settings. In this example, the Major Rivers layer will be the input feature. Next, I will name and save the output feature. In this case, the buffer operation will produce a new vector polygon layer. I will set the distance to 2 and the units to kilometers. Finally, I will change the dissolve type so that all polygons are dissolved to a single feature. After I select OK, you can see that the major river's input has been connected to the buffer tool and the new output has been defined. Note that inputs are shown in blue, tools in yellow, and outputs in green. Next, I will set up the clip operation. In this case, the input will be the town points, and the clip feature will be the result from the buffer analysis. After I select OK, you can see that both the towns layer and the result from the buffer have been connected to the clip tool, and a new output will be generated. To clean up the model layout, I will now select the Auto Layout option. This will create a nice graphic, la graphic layout for the model. Next, I will save the model. Note that models are generally saved inside of a toolbox. You can save your model inside of the project toolbox or any other toolbox that has already been created. Before I execute the model, I'm going to right click on the outputs and select Add to Display. This will, the, with this option selected, the model outputs will be added to the map once the model is generated. I will now execute the model by hitting the Run button. Once the model has executed, note, th note that drop shadows have been added to the tools and the outputs. This signifies that these processes have been ran and these outputs have been generated. If we navigate back to the map, we can see that the buffer and the new points layer representing towns within the buffer have been added to the map. Our analysis suggests that 159 of the 277 towns are within 2 kilometers of a river. This is a pretty simple example. Note that some fairly complex models with many steps and outputs can be generated. I would encourage you to experiment with this tool. I have found that this is a much more efficient, um, this is much more efficient than simply executing the steps separately. Another added benefit is that models can be executed like other toolbox tools using a dialog box. Before we can run our model like a tool, we need to make some changes. First, I'm going to define some user-defined parameters. Here I will set the two inputs and two outputs as, param as parameters by right-clicking on them and selecting Parameter. Note that a P is added next to the graphics. I will do the same for the outputs. I'd also like the user to be able to change some of the tool parameters. So we'll also set the buffer distance and the dissolve type as parameters. To do this, we will first need to create a variable from a parameter. We will then define this new variable as a parameter.
Lastly, I will now rename the inputs and outputs so that they are more descriptive in the resulting model. This can be done by right-clicking and selecting Rename. I will, no, I will now save my changes. The model can be, be accessed through the catalog pane. Note that the defined parameters are listed in the, tool, in the tool dialog box and the change names have been used. Let's re-execute the tool using a buffer distance of 1 km as opposed to 2 km. Navigating back to the map, you can see that the new buffer and clip output were added. The number of towns within one kilometer of a river was 138. I hope you found this to be a useful introduction to Model Builder in ArcPro.